to sweat that out at the end though after leading 3 0. Yes, we did. Um, I thought the first half was okay. The first 25 minutes, 30 minutes of the first half, I thought we did okay. And uh, we went 3 0 up and um, half time, and then after that, we just sort of dropped our bummer. Our first touch was poor, and through mid, we were absolutely murdered in the midfield, I thought, especially the second half. We, um, we just let them run out of too much space, not picking up runners. But, um, yeah, there you go. Do you, do you think it was a bit of complacency after you? Oh, look, I thought sometimes, yes, yeah, psychologically, teams unintentionally switch off because they've gone through in your lump or whatever it might be, but um, and you can't afford to do that. Uh, good teams don't do that, so you know, you've just got to knuckle down and keep doing what we, what we, what we practice and what, what we're told. And, um, you know, you can't let teams in, back in a game at 3-0, it's just, just, um, just good teams don't do that. In the first few minutes of the second half, you seemed to be firing out of the blocks, and then all of a sudden that intensity kind of disappeared. What yeah, it did. Down, Again, so? you know, the guys were geared up at half time. You know, we were three run up. You know, the game was ours at that stage, um, and it sort of came out quickly in the first few minutes, and with a little bit of intensity, and then that just sort of just stopped for some reason. And, you know, if we knew why it does, I think we'd fix it. But you know, I think it's just a mental thing. But um, you know, they just something things don't don't work for you for five or ten minutes, and they sort of tend to give up and stop trying it, but you've got to keep pers pers persevering, so you've got to keep persevering in what, what we know works and, and keep working at it. Are you happy with your effort in the second half to keep them out and you still got away with the win? I think we were, think we were lucky to get away, at least with this, we were lucky that they didn't, you know, they didn't draw it, let alone a win. Um, but I just thought that you know, so the periods in the first half were just knocking it along too early for no reason. Um, because they just come straight back. And, um, that's not how we. That's not how we want to play. And uh, we've just got to learn to be patient at times and um, we just knock the ball around and you know, let the ball do it. Especially, especially when you're three 0 up. You know, it's, that's when it should, you should be enjoying the game. You know, let them chase. Let them do the work. But you know, guys switch off and you know, it takes one or two, and all of a sudden you know, they get one and they'll get two. Then all of a sudden we're under the pump and it shouldn't. It shouldn't be like that. With the South Hobart looming next week, is that kind of form in the second half a bit of a concern? Oh. Well, if we do what we did today, yeah, we'll be. Um, but uh, our aim is that it won't. So we're going to be working on things at training during the week to make sure that doesn't happen. So. Sherman, what's the story with his Oh, he's, he's, he's had a, troubles with his Achilles all year, apparently. And um, I think in the first 10 minutes, just went on him today. So, And he's been probably the last two or three weeks, probably one of our, one of our better players, especially up in Devonport last week. He was excellent up there. Um, and I think we missed him a bit today in the middle. But that's that's the problem. It's um, it's not both of them. It's one of them. So we still, still got another one that's pretty good. So <laughs> but we'll see how he goes during the week. It tends to be on harder grounds because the training at KG5 it, it, it happens there, flares up, and flared up again today. So whereas up in Devonport he didn't have that issue. So it's got something to do with the grounds and, and he's. But he does, it, it, it is an ongoing problem. What is an ongoing problem? Um, he has been told that it will flare up. Yeah, it will flare up. Then it will settle. Then it will flare up and settle. So it's just a matter, a matter of working through that. Sweet. Yeah. Gee, but, but, I was going to say, so you escape the result and you live to fight another day, although those title hopes are, are oh, pretty slim look, now, aren't they? Yeah, we've got to win both games, you've got to lose, lose both games virtually, but um, we still want to finish second and we want to win the victory, the, the cup at the end, so you know, there's lots, still a lot to play for, um, I mean I haven't given up yet, so both the players have got the same, same attitude, and I'm sure Chris hasn't given up, so we've got to keep going, still a few weeks to go yet. Cheers. Yeah. 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 No, thank you. Cheers. No problem. Thanks.